Brought to you by Freedom Media WA. You're laughing? You're laughing? What what person? Even the FDA in the USA are so concerned about the risk to 12 to 17 year old children that they won't approve Moderna for American kids. Yet in Australia, the TGA has allowed Moderna to be injected in the bodies of Aussie kids 12 to 17 year old. Like this lady said, why isn't the media sharing both sides? Why isn't the Excuse me, Channel 7. Channel 7, wakey wakey. I would love to know. Why, why are you only sharing one side of the story? Why? Are we only hearing about the fact that... Yeah, can you please answer? No, answer now. I want, I'm talking about the news over the past year and a half. Okay. People do not trust the media anymore. They do not trust their government because we know that you are reporting a one way. to know if you could comment on that, please. No. Oh, from from just a from a human to human moment right now, I'd actually really love for you to just like tune in with your heart and actually ask yourself if you oh scoff if you one have one and two if you morally agree with what's actually happening. Do you? Speak, mate. Speak. Who are you working for? Human to human, please coming from a place of love and compassion. You're the messenger. You're the when you stop claiming that, it, that 24 hours after a man has died, that he has got that he died from COVID, people might start listening to you. You might start paying attention to you. It's, it's your story. It's your story. But you're making claims about a man you don't even know who died 24 hours ago. Died of what, mate? It's about a man you don't even know. He is not the only one. Yesterday... I don't know what he died of, but you don't know what he died of You want to know what reality is, Jeff? Last week on a handover shift, I, I was speaking to a young girl who said, no, I'm not taking the vaccine because my 19-year-old cousin took it, the second one, and she died two days later. Is that not the vaccine? A perfectly healthy person? Look at him laughing. Exactly. You're laughing? He's laughing. You're laughing? He's laughing. He's laughing. He's laughing. He's laughing. What, He's per laughing. what He's laughing. person? He's My neighbour, a 60, a 60 plus year old woman, terrified she's on dialysis three days a week. She didn't want the vaccine. She is so terrified. Because they kept saying to her, when are you going to get it? When are you going to get it? When are you going to get it? She got it. Three days of itchiness of adverse reactions. That's how terrified people are. That's a lie? Is that a lie? Is that not the truth? Why don't you report that? Over 60, okay, so just comments in relation to who is Jeff. It would be Jeff Perry Come on. from Seven What's your answer? Nightly News. Was that girl lying to me that her cousin died? This innocent little child, when they start wanting to vaccinate them. Well, you know what? Over my dead body, will you, any of you come near my children? Yeah. 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 I don't give a shit who you are. Whether you're the police, whether you're the government, you'll have to put a bullet in my head first before you come after any of our children. Where there is risk, there must be choice. Medical ethics, nursing ethics, that's what we were taught, you know, bodily autonomy. Where there is risk, there must be choice. Yep. Medical mandates is a whole nother thing. You can't put a blanket mandate on a whole genetically diverse population. Common sense. Yes. That's that's science. Common Thank sense. That's what we need. Article that popped up from Perth now. Channel 7 journalists actually. Channel 7 journalist Denim Hitchcock in hospital with, I can't even pronounce this, pericarditis? Oh. After COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine. Yay. Wow. Yay. Wow. Yay. wow. Yay. Sorry, say it again. 
Yeah. I'll read the first part of the article. So, Channel 7 journalist Denham Hitchcock has revealed he is suffering from a heart condition as a rare side effect rare, of the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine. The Spotlight reporter spoke from hospital after being diagnosed with pericarditis, a swelling or irritation of the, of the sac-like membrane surrounding the heart that helps keep it in place. He says the extremely rare condition was caused by his first shot of Pfizer, which he received 25 days ago. Hitchcock, who insists he is not anti-vax, but is pro-choice and pro-opening the bloody country up, made the decision to share his story because, as a journalist, it would be hypocritical not to. Any comments on this, reporters? One of your own. Yeah. Any kind of compassion for your colleague? Yeah. Don't crouch, don't stand up. Yeah. Like stand up like a man. Oh, he's got Come on. Smile up like you were before, mate. Oh, but here I am, diagnosed with pericarditis or inflammation of the heart due to the vi Pfizer vaccine. Brought to you by Freedom Media WA. Like, share and subscribe to my channel to see real people telling real stories.